Hello, class from 1A. It's time for meeting. Let's go over the details of our day. Yesterday was what? What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Wednesday. Yesterday was Wednesday. So if yesterday was Wednesday, then today is what? If yesterday was Wednesday, then today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. So if yesterday was Wednesday and today is Thursday, then tomorrow will be what? If yesterday was Wednesday and today is Thursday, then tomorrow will be Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. So today is Thursday. The month is October. What number? That's the number seven or seventh. So today is Thursday. October 7th, and the year is 2021. What season are we in? It's fall. We're in fall. So then what is the weather like outside today? You can look outside your windows. Ms. Jessica's going to look outside her windows. Remember, you might have to stand up to look outside your windows. But Ms. Jessica can just kind of look both ways. I look outside my windows at school. I see that it's cloudy and a little sunny. We call it like mostly cloudy or partly cloudy today. It's starting to feel like fall. All right. Let's go over our classroom rules. Be respectful of yourself and others. Remember, we need to respect all people, and that includes yourself because you're a person. We respect people's differences, opinions, personal space, personal property, choices, ability levels. We need to respect all aspects of all people because everyone has the right to be treated with respect. One great way to show respect is by keeping hands, feet, and objects to yourself. You need to be safe with your body and with the objects around you, even if you're upset, even if you're angry. I'm going to take a deep breath. Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using safe hands and safe feet. Follow the directions of all your teachers. I know that one can be a challenge to understand right now because you're not working with your teachers in person regularly and you haven't for a really long time. There's still people in your life that you need to listen and follow their directions. Parents, care providers, respite workers, any support staff you may have, family members. They ask you to do the things they ask you to do to keep you safe. Always use nice words. We need to make good choices. And that means being appropriate with our language and our tone of voice. Even if we're upset, even if we're angry. I'm going to take a deep breath. Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using appropriate words and an appropriate tone of voice. Because people aren't going to want to listen to us if we're yelling at them or using inappropriate words. And then lastly, always do your best. Yes, always do your best. Remember, we do the best we can with what we have each day. And your best can look different from day to day and from situation to situation. And that's okay. Your best might look different from someone else's best. And that's okay, too. As long as you are trying your best, that's all that matters. All right. And even though it's short, it's time to go over how we're feeling. Are you hot? Are you scared? Are you angry? Are you embarrassed? Are you hungry? Are you anxious? Are you cold? Are you frustrated? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you sad? Are you silly? Are you jealous? Are you tired? Are you disgusted? Are you thirsty? Are you excited? Or are you sick? You can point or you can tell somebody. If there's a way you're feeling that's not listed, you can tell somebody that as well. Awesome job. All right. How is Miss Jessica feeling today? A little tired today. It's true. It's been a long, busy week, so I'm tired. Need to make sure I get some rest, uh, drink water, you know, eat when I'm supposed to eat, and take care of myself. Um, I'm a little sad today. It's true, as I have been every day for the last almost 19 months. Um, of course, I'm happy because most of your friends are back in school. But I'm still a little sad each day because I miss you, and I want you back here with us. Even though I'm sad because I miss you, when I think about all of you home, happy, healthy, safe, well taken care of, and the fact that hopefully someday soon we'll all be back together in our classroom and 
We're going to work so hard and have so much fun. And all of this time apart will just be a memory. When I think about all that, that makes me really, really happy. It's true. Thinking about all of you and our future together makes me so happy. That is what I focus on because you are my happy place. All right, so with that, meeting is all done. I am going to do a reading video. Please remember, we do have our 10 o'clock Zoom meeting every single day. I think with our reading video, I believe we're reading chapter 12 today. All right. I hope you have a good day today, friends. A beautiful Thursday. I'll see you in my videos tomorrow. Bye, friends.